What's up, you guys? What's up, divas and tebos? Let's just jump right into this video. You know, there's a little situation going here. So I figured, listen, I'm going to be fancy in my own little type of way. You know, like sip some tea, put out my little pinky, you know. So today's video is going to be hopefully easy because listen, a girl is not ready to take on the responsibility of editing too much and being frustrated because I have lately been so frustrated with some of these videos, but hey, it is what it is. Girl, a girl has some attire for looking cute for these upcoming videos. So if you see me in this shirt more than one time, you got to know that I did a video on the same day. And I'm thinking like this color is like picking up real good on camera. I figured, hey, I am a lady because I am a lady. I want to send a special shout out. Thank you. All that to one of my fellow YouTubers here on the YouTube world. Girl, let me tell y'all. Now, I'll be trying to make sure that my wig looks just as meltable as possible, as close as possible to scalpage, okay? And I have tried all type of lace tinting sprays when I, I'm lying. I ain't tried all types, but I have tried to. You know, I'm seeing uh, like some new ones that was out in the market. You know, it wasn't sent to me. I had to purchase this on my own. So before I purchase something, a girl needs to look it up and see, is it really worth it? Even New York lace tinting spray, tinted lace spray. And I did get the color in a light warm brown. So this is in an aerosol can. You definitely got to shake it up, girl, so you can hear it. It's like spray painting your wig, okay? You want to see how something works out first before you purchase it, even if it's only $10. I'm on the YouTube and I'm looking, I'm searching. I'm, I'm seeing like a bunch of videos that I was watching. Not really detailed, not really informative, not really helping me out, none whatsoever, okay? Come across my girl, Natural Joy. She gave me the most information, informative, detailed demonstration video on the market, on the YouTube, in my experience, okay, in my opinion. She is the one that had me say, you know what, I'm going to get this. Not only did she use it on a human hair lace wig, but she used it on a synthetic lace wig. So, you know, by that point, I was like really floored. So you definitely want to check out Natural Joy. She has some really good detailed YouTube videos for wigs, for natural wigs, for human hair wigs, for synthetic wigs. You know, she does a really good job. So if you guys are not aware of who Natural Joy is, definitely check her out. Hopefully I'll remember to link her information in the description box below. But if I don't, her name is Natural Joy. Tell her that I sent you guys. Follow the rules. So the wig that I'm about to review today is by a company called Izzy Wig. Now first of all, let me just tell y'all this much. We went back and forth for like a minute. Not like we wasn't, we, there was no beef, there was no drama, but we were just going back and forth via email. Pick a wig, I picked a wig. Oh, pick another, I picked another. Oh, we'll pick three from three more because this one is sold out. I picked three more. Oh, can you pick another? I did that. Can, listen, it was about 10 times that I had to choose. By the end of the day, the end of the week, basically, I was like over it, all right? The wig that I was supposedly have gotten was supposed to be a glueless full lace wig, but it's not. It is a lace frontal, and it is, from the looks of it, I don't really know if it's 13 by 6 or 13 by 4. It's wanting to tell me that it's a 13 by 4. The wig that I was supposed to get was supposed to be a glueless full lace wig, so girl, listen. And it was supposed to be 22 inches in length. Now, this might be 22 inches, but it's definitely not a glueless full lace wig. Unless it got some new kind of style out. I know this is their wig because as soon as I took it out the box, I wrote their name on it like I do with all my wigs. Only because they start looking alike after a while. And that's the reason why you always see it with a name here. I didn't complain about it. It's a wig. It's a wig. I didn't really care. It's all the same to me. I went ahead and I did bleach this unit when I did get it. And I pre-plucked it. And then today... I went ahead and sold the elastic band in. So I'm hoping that this wig is super duper snatched on my head. Okay, so that way I look really, really cute for this wig. I really wanted to do this wig only because the hair texture is so pretty. I get plenty of wavy, curly wigs. And I, I like the way these curls were forming in this wig. I'm hoping that I'm not appearing a little bit pale here because a girl is just trying to wear lip gloss today. But from what I'm looking at, I'm feeling like, to me, Look like I done sucked on a stick of chalk and smeared it on my lips. But that's neither here nor there. But I just figured I'd point that out to you guys. 
So anyway, I'm going to just show you how your wig comes. So that way we could just jump right into this and I could stop rambling. So when you receive your package from Izzy Wigs, your unit will come in their standard box, which states premium human hair wigs. You can also visit their website, izzywigs.com. You'll also receive two types of wig caps, which is a netted one, which is more breathable for your scalp, and also a stocking cap one. There'll also be a comb in your package. Along with that, some hair combs or hair clips. The unit that I received is a 20 or 22 inch Brazilian deep curl lace frontal. The density of the unit is about 150% in density and does come with baby hairs in the front perimeter. Along with that, there are some baby hairs in the back perimeter. As you guys will see, you will need to bleach the knots if your preference is to have it looking more like scalp. I went ahead and used a 30 developer to bleach my knots. Along with that, I also used some of the purple shampoo. If you don't prefer to bleach your knots, you can always use a makeup concealer or a tinting spray to kind of camouflage the knots. The hair is very full and the ends are really healthy looking. You will need to wash your unit prior to wearing so that way the curl pattern will have a more natural appearance. Make sure you check out Izzy Wigs. They have plenty of units to choose from and their prices are affordable. I figured, listen, I really wanted to try this and I should have did it way before this video. And I'm not really sure how long it's going to take to dry dry. Listen, let me tell you. I do have quite a few that got some lace color issues that I need to tweak. So I'm going to use that on those wigs. I'll use that. So we're just going to jump into this. All right, you guys. So let's just get into this. I'm going to go ahead and put this lace frontal on. I will leave all of the information descriptions, the links down below for you guys. Because as I stated, it was supposed to be a glueless full lace, but it's a lace frontal. But I'm not complaining because the hair texture is gorgeous. So uh, I forgot to mention, I did bleach the knots in the unit and I did use purple shampoo. That is the happy dance, okay? Um, the purple shampoo works really well, especially especially if you let it sit on the hair where you've bleached that for a couple of hours. Avoid what it says five minutes. I would say a couple of hours at least. So being that I went ahead and bleached the knots, I'm now going to go ahead and take my eyebrow trimmer. Yes, you guys see I've been using this a little bit more. I'm trying to get used to it. Though I think the scissors are still to me easier, but you know, things do take getting used to. That's why I had to breathe and woosah, okay? But this is a new eyebrow trimmer and you need to make sure that they are at least sharp enough when cutting because if you have a dull pair, honey, you'll be sitting there forever. <laughs> So now that I am um, have went ahead and cut the, the lace, I'm going to make sure that the wig fits properly, meaning not over my ear. So I did take my comb and I parted it directly over my ear and then I went ahead with the scissors and cut into that part so that way the wig can lay flat. If you have not cleaned your hairline as of yet, then I would highly suggest that you do so prior to adhering the unit because if you don't, any oils or makeup or whatever will definitely uh, kind of like mess you up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it, it's not going to work out in your favor. So girl, just make sure your hairline is clean. I did forget to mention one thing. I do have three cans of hairspray here. I could have had more than that if I really chose to. Figured I would try something different. And this is the got to be mess mesmerizing hairspray. I want to see how the hold um, compares to the other two cans. So we're going to try this out. So now that I have told you guys about this mess mesmerizing got to be hairspray, I've had this for a few months, but I just wanted to try it out because, you know, we always want to try something different. So I'm going to go ahead and see how it works. I did spray it on the inside along with that on the outer side of my unit. 
This will help hold your wig for days. I'm not really sure about this hairspray, so we will see. And I'm just going to take this pink blow dryer, which I really don't care for too much, and just blow dry the perimeter. I'm also using my rat tail comb to press into the lace and also go behind the hairs of the unit in the front. If you don't have a blow dryer, you can just use a scarf. So it is on tight, and you see that is the happy dance. Okay, happy dance. And you just want to repeat it on the opposite side. Now I'm going to go ahead with those same brow trimmers and I'm going to go and cut into my frontal hair perimeter which is the baby hairs or the wispy hairs or whatever you want to call them. And you just repeat that same step on the opposite side. I decided to use the hairspray just to hold down my sideburn hairs and also blow dry them. Girl, listen, a girl needs sideburn hairs. I love sideburn hairs, okay? And just to sculpt and style the unit, I'm going to, well, I was trying to, at least. I'm gonna use this Dollar Tree Sculpting Mousse by Salon Selectives. Listen, this is not a Dollar Tree Dollar Tree product, meaning it ain't made by the Dollar Tree. This stuff has been around for a long time, and I know this because my mama told me she used to use this back in the day when I was little. Now imagine, I was born in 1970. So you know this product is good. My mother even said it was good. So I trust her judgment. Plus I've been using it before she even told me that it was good. And it actually is really good. Especially for a dollar. So go to the Dollar Tree and get you some styling mousse. But make sure it's by Salon Selectives in the pink can. Because if you get something else, I'm not no, I'm, you know, I'm not going to know what to tell you about that. So being that I went ahead and styled those baby hairs to the best of my ability, I'm just going to style the hair. I'm going to go ahead and put a part in it. The wig came out great for the bleach knots. I can't really remember how long I kept it on there. Normally it's like 45 minutes to an hour, an hour depending on the wig and the, you know, the construction of the wig and how the knots are but these knots were not that bad even though they look dark as hell on computer or screen they were not that bad and this is somewhat the finished look of this unit the hair is really pretty I like the curl pattern a lot it was a little bit challenging only because I wasn't like a huge fan of the lace color I did ask for light brown but this seems a little bit browner than normal for me like seriously this is a pretty hair you know what I really like about it the most is the fact that it's curled all the way from the rooter to the tutor you ever get a wavy or curly wig and it's kind of like straight up here like it doesn't bother me but I do like them when they're waved or curled at the root even if it's not too wet you pick the curls and fluff them out it still looks really nice as for as this mesmerizing got to be spray it gives you a hole but a very slight hole this I noticed is not sticking down like I would have wanted it to like it was holding as you guys see me pull it like in certain areas it's got a good grip but this area right here not a good grip I would advise you guys like when you want to try a hairspray out make sure that it's totally clean in that area that the spray will stick I'm thinking like before I even use the mousse it started lifting and I think it had to do with my hair was right here and my hair stays coming out like in this area no matter what I do I gel it I spray it it will come out but as far as the wig like this wig is really nice like I'm not like a huge fan of the lace color like seriously I'm not I want to see how this is going to pick up on camera but I'm not really sure I don't really like to see the grids in my wig so and I feel like sometimes the pressed powder will kind of like make the grids appear a lot more and then also I noticed like if you decide not to wear makeup for that day and then you put makeup on your lace, that really can like shine through. Like you'll definitely see where it ends and where it begins. So that's the one thing I really don't care too much about doing when it comes to a lace wig. I really, I try to avoid putting makeup on my lace as much as possible. For one, it doesn't sit all day. And for two, it's kind of noticeable. You guys let me know an opinion. Um, in the comments box. I said an opinion box. That's what it need to be called an opinion. Opinion box. Because that's what the fuck. Ooh. That's what the hell y'all be doing. Excuse me. Excuse me. The hair texture is lovely. Like you've seen, I did use my water with 
Carol's Daughter Hair Milk inside of it. And it curls up so nice. The texture stays soft. And it just gets even better when it's wet. I love curly hair. I can't remember if I worked with Izzy Wig before. I really want to say that I have. But you know, you girl get around and stuff. She worked with a lot of different companies. So I can't remember. I can't be remembering everything. That's to be reminding me. On that note, I will give them a 10. Definitely a 10. Because the wig is constructed really nice. The combs are in the proper um, places. I like the fact that they did put a comb here in the middle. So if you want to use it, then I would advise to. Because it's a really great anchor comb. It'll hold the hair still. Or the wig still. And the lace is really good. But it's just not my color lace. You know, that's the only pit peeve I have. You know, I can't say that it's a bad wig because of the lace color because it just goes to who it goes to like you know what i'm saying like it'll match with who it matches with it's very full and voluptuous hunty voluptuous like you can definitely do other things with this wig now, i'm gonna just use these deck build clips to i just tried out something different because i know i love curly hair and like if you could get it situated like you know let's use some good hairspray girl and and apply the it listen i don't really like a lot of baby hairs okay i will rock this just like this and just pretend like you don't see this big ass clip right here so on that note i love you guys stay diva and diva delicious make sure you rate this video and comment too thumbs the video up as many times as you can and i'll see you guys soon on the next one I'm not a 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 I'm not a